What's up, dudes and dudettes? Fellow Kerbal Knots. This is Nolan on PC, and today... Today, actually, I was inspired by the Kerbal Space Program's official Twitter account. They posted, a, I think it was a set of imager pictures of a, of a build someone did where they had launched, like, an ICBM, like a missile rocket thing, out of the back of kind of a AC-130 type craft. I think it's a homage to a thing that really actually happened. Some government somewhere was like, hey, we could do this. And it was just a miserable failure, I think. I think the execution probably was okay, but just, you know, it's just not a good idea. But we are going to try it. We're going to try it right now. We're at the 10,000 foot ceiling. We got good speed on. We got our little craft in here. We need landing gear down to get the rollers down. Beauty. We're going to drop it. And we're going to switch to it. Nice. Okay. Nope, not that. This. We just need for it to right itself just a little bit. It is going to lose a lot of speed. Bye, plane. Bye. Okay, here we go. We're going to drop shoot. Skyward! Skyward! Get a little bit of noodling. Apparently, we, we definitely picked like the wrong rockets. <laughs> These things are just way too strong. We burned through like 700 units of fuel, just like lickety split. But we did make 43,000. So once we're up around 40,000, uh, we might be able to get some control back and actually burn the last little bit of this and potentially get this thing like, you know, on a pretty good chuck out into space. Is that the plane? Can I go? No, I can't go to it. There it goes. <laughs> Gandhi. I'm a little worried about the plane because the nose was up really high. So at some point it's going to like stall out. It's going to go nose down and the SAS is on. So, you know, bad things. Bad things. Especially because Jeb's in it. Bad things. Okay, so we've got some SAS control here. Gonna try and point the nose back up. Just a tiny bit of throttle. Boom. How far did we get? 47. Okay, that's abysmal. But you know what? Mission successful. I think it... it it kind of worked. So if we... This is dangerous. No. Oh, I can't do that down here? Oh, I could do this. I could do this. I could do this. Oh, does that mean it's dead? If the plane's not here, that probably means it crashed, right? Fug. <laughs> Fug. So yeah, it went up, it went nose down, and right into the sea. So... We're just going to ride this out, see where it goes. And then we're going to revert flight. Yep, yeah, good stuff. Get Jeb back. All right. Oh, is it going to come right down in Hawaii? Nope. Nope. Upon closer inspection, looks like we're going to hit the water. I got pretty close to it. That was my intended target. But once this thing started kind of noodling all over the place and went warp eight, that was off the table. We Cannonball! Oh, well, that's a neat view. Because Hawaii actually is just one giant mountain like that. If you take, what is it, peak to summit of, uh, I think, the big island of Hawaii? It is a monster. It is It dwarfs anything else on the Earth. So we are going to revert to space plane. We'll take a look at my build. Show you guys what I did. Got the four new fancy Goliaths set to about half thrust. And that gets you up to about 10,000 meters or so. The rest is done with the two... Oh, jeez. The two 10.5 degree gimbal vector monster motors, the new toys, 
but for obvious reasons, I'm gonna like half limit these two for next time because that was frankly awful. But as I always say, I don't test any of the stuff. I just start playing and then you guys get to see the oftentimes hilarious abysmal results. What are we gonna call this? Uh, AC-130 ICBM launcher. That's pretty drawn out, but it works. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you want to play this craft, I will put it in the Dropbox and link in the description. Uh, so yeah, until next time, guys, peace, love, cheers.